Former Pittsburgh Steelers guard Kevin Dotson exposes the truth on why he was unable to succeed in Pittsburgh. So, Kevin Dotson, he just had an amazing year with the Los Angeles Rams, and this was after the Steelers traded him before cutdowns during the roster period. So, he was able to turn it into one of the top NFL steadiest guards after playing left guard for years with the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Rams, they put him at right guard, his natural position, and all of a sudden, he was able to hit the ground running and now become a top three paid guard in NFL history. In case you didn't know, he's basically making $20 million a year now. He just signed a huge three-year extension, basically worth $60 million and like $35 million guaranteed. So, Kevin Dotson, third highest paid guard in NFL history per year average, that's a lot of money. And you would have never thought that he would be able to get that contract based off how he was playing with Pittsburgh and the Steelers trading him. The Steelers traded a fifth round pick and Kevin Dodson to the Rams for a fourth round pick. So Kevin Dodson, he was able to turn around his career and now really step up and play really well for the Los Angeles Rams. And the funny thing is though, I was going to make this video during the season because this quote came when the season was still going on from Kevin Dotson, but I decided, you know what, let's wait. Let's see how Kevin Dotson j does for the whole season. Just because he got traded, sometimes the first part of the season, the player does good, the second half, they struggle. But no, Kevin Dotson was consistent all the way through. So, he just recently signed an extension, so I decided to go back into my notes and check out the quote from Kevin Dotson, and now I decided to drop this video. Because this quote from Kevin Dotson really exposes the Steelers coaching staff and says the exact reason why the coaching staff is kind of messing up off and sliming. So here's the quote from Kevin Dotson. The main thing is just being able to be back at right guard. Being back at right. I didn't realize how much it made a difference for me until I started playing again. It came back to me within a week of practice. I was like, right side is where I'm meant to be. Even in Pittsburgh, they say my best years were when I got to play right. Switching to left, I didn't feel like I did bad, but being at right, it all just made sense at right. When they switched me to left, that's something I had to learn that is totally new. End quote. So, just looking at that quote from Kevin Dodson, I've been saying it for a while. I said it when I covered Broderick Jones. I said it when I covered other offense linemen. Many offense linemen say going left, dropping back left, dropping back right, and pass, protect, pass protection or run blocking is not the same thing. It's like trying to learn a whole different way to use your other hand. Just say you're right-handed trying to use your left hand for everything, or you're left-handed, trying to use your right hand for everything. They describe it as that, and that's basically what the Steelers are doing. They value versatility on the offense line way too much, and that's why I think that some players that they get are just unable to succeed. You look at the players the Steelers have, and they just always switch their position. That's why I don't like what they're doing with Broderick Jones. He's playing right tackle, and he describes it saying he doesn't like it and that he feels more comfortable on the left and it feels as though he's basically using a whole different hand and trying to learn something new so that's why when i'm describing Broderick jones i said the best way is just move him back to his natural position sometimes moving the player around isn't what's best for them and that's obviously what happened with kevin dodson he was rated the second best offensive lineman in the whole nfl with an 84.5 grade overall through week 14. You would have never thought that Kevin Dotson would get this big of a contract after how bad he kind of played with the Steelers late towards his tenure, getting offside penalty I mean getting full start penalties, getting holding penalties, just letting guys go right past him. But being at your natural position really helps and that exposes the Pittsburgh Steelers because they they value versatility so much. Like even when you look at Isaac Samalu you look at Isaac Simalu, at the very beginning of the season, he struggled. 
even though he didn't allow sacks like that, and you could look at the stats and be like, okay, he didn't allow sacks. When you just look at the film and look at how Isaac Samalu was playing, he struggled a lot. But you have to realize, he was playing right guard. He was playing right guard basically his whole career with the Eagles. And then he came to Pittsburgh, and they moved him to left guard. So the Pittsburgh Steelers really do that a lot. And that's why it really has to do with the coaching and kind of their scheme. You can't just move players around on the offense line. It's not moving players around the cornerback. Like sometimes cornerbacks, they like the left side better. They like the right side better. They're able to drop back better and cover that side of the field earlier. So that's why sometimes they have a specific size on the football field. Some people could do it at both, but some players are just meant for one. And when the player specifically says multiple times, Kevin Dodson, when he was here, he said multiple times he likes the right side. Bart Jones says he likes the left side. When players specifically say that they feel more comfortable and that the position they are being moved to, they don't feel comfortable at, sometimes you have to think, hey, let's move them back to the natural position. And that's what worked with Kevin Dodson, and that completely changed his career around. And it's not a coincidence either. In the quote, you hear Kevin Dodson say his best times with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he felt was at right guard. And if you remember... His rookie season, that's where he was at his best. That's where the Pittsburgh Steelers fans fell in love with him in terms of wanting him to play on the football field. And that when Filer came back, they wanted Kevin Dodson to start in the playoff game. But he didn't. Mike Tomlin moved back to Filer when he got healthy. But looking at that season, that rookie season is where the Pittsburgh Steelers fans really liked Kevin Dodson and thought he could be a big-time player for them. But if you remember, why? Why do Steelers fans think that? Why do we think that? Well, David DeCastro, he got injured early in that season, and who had to fill in for him at right guard? Who had to fill in for him at right guard? It was Kevin Dodson. He was plugged in at right guard early in his career, and that rookie season arguably was his best year with the Pittsburgh Steelers. After that... After that season, when other players started getting injured, like Filer, who was at left guard, the Steelers had to move Kevin Dodson to left guard, and then they basically just stuck with him at that position, and since they moved him to left guard, filling in for Filer, it just wasn't the same after that. You even look at the Steelers after they moved Kevin Dodson to left guard, what position do you remember them moving Filer to? They moved him to offense tackle, when he was specifically offense guard. And when they moved him to offense tackle, he struggled a lot and eventually was gone out of Pittsburgh. So you just look at that and you just see the way the Pittsburgh Steelers move players across the offense line. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes you can't just move players to a natural position and just hope for the best. You just have to stick and use them to the best of their ability and get the best out of them at what they do best. And that's why I'm saying this is exposing the Pittsburgh Steelers coaching staff because sometimes the moving around versatility, that's not the best thing for them. You have to get what you could and get the best at what they do best. And that's what coaching staffs do better. They know your weaknesses, they know your strengths, and they play around that. They try to hide your weaknesses, but it seems like the Pittsburgh Steelers, they just expose the players' weaknesses and aren't really strengthening the players' strengths at what they do best. So, Kevin Dotson. This is kind of not even the first kind of showing of this. It happened many times in the past. It seems like it's going to happen many times in the future if they continue going down that road. I'm going to get more into a video down the line about Dan Moore Jr. Because Omar Khan recently said that Broderick Jones is going to be moving back to left tackle this season. So what does that mean for Dan Moore Jr.? He's a natural left tackle. Is he going to move to right tackle? That's what I'm saying. So I'm going to get more into a video like that down the road. But all in all, this is basically what it is. Kevin Dotson, best year of his career, was at right guard. Steelers moved into left guard, struggled for years straight. Got traded to the Rams for basically nothing. They absolutely fleeced us. And now he's the top three paid right guard in the league and is one of the best right guards in the league in both pass and run blocking. Back at right guard. So, the Pittsburgh Steelers coaching messed up, but that's nothing new. It seems like coaching has been messing up for the Steelers for the past few years, 
and the Steelers just can't get it right on the offense line, and that's why they've been switching offense linemen a lot. If you look at how many offense linemen they've went through, it's been a lot recently. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this topic. Do you believe the Steelers should have traded Kim and Dotson? Do you believe that the Steelers should have kept him? Or do you believe that the Steelers messed up in terms of where they played Kevin Dotson? And will they be messing up Broderick Jones and others down the road? Or do you believe this is no big deal? We have Isaac Samalo now. We have James Daniels. We don't need Kevin Dotson. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below as well if the exterior's content analysis supports. Like the video. Turn on post notifications down below for the channel as well. So you can get notified of whenever I post next year's video. Free agency is right here. It starts in a few days, and the draft is coming up soon as well. So if you want to stay updated with every new person the Pittsburgh Steelers pick up, or whatever the breaking news is, I'm here covering it. If you want to see highlights, film breakdowns of the players, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and like the video. I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.